Брюс Ли и Морта. Welterweight Division matchup. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Methuen, Massachusetts, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? And there comes the separation now. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Left hand punch in the clinch. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Lynn switch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. 
All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and combination. Lee gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Punch. Countering now with a hook shot to the body. That punch landed by Lee. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. You got to check these low leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Some nice back and forth action here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Yeah, he fixed it all up. Yet again, they will clinch here. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Good stick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Big leg kick land. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Hey. Ooh, head kick lands. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. <laughs> nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice jab. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big power shot there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at that leg. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent. Defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get the fight to the ground. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ.
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That kick blocked by Lee. Beautiful strike. Oh, collar tie. Oh, beautiful leg kick countered by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee gets hit with a kick. Checks the leg kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well timed needed the body. Big punch land. Ooh. Back and forth we go. Huge block there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just missing on the uppercut there. Look at the turnover in that kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Checks that leg kick. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. He gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. William mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Beautiful leg kick throw. Now a kick to the body. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Right hand punches the clinch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was so tall. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Ooh, what a head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice. Lee's elbow attempt here blocked by the defense. 15 seconds. Leg kick. Collar tie now. Nice punch. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking?
just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think it's something that the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Real quick leg kick. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Takedown defense holds up. He lands a big knee to the body. And they separate. Big kick lands. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. He went high on that one. Straight punch lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Way to hide that leg kick. Visibly limping here. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice right hand. And they separate. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Sneaky head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Big knee land. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Lee's shot there is blocked. Big head kick land. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Great punch landing with so much power. Got the single collar tie. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick lands. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch with the clinch. Wow. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. 
Oh, eats a knee. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Final seconds of round three. Oh, what a punch. Back and forth we go here. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Beautiful body kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Just missed with the leg kick. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Nice try. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, huge block! All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Kick to the body. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Powerful leg kick lands. Lands flush with that right hand. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. And they separate. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big knee lands to the body. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. That uppercut will work. Just over two minutes to go. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, big punch lands. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw a knee. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. That's a big strike right there. Oh, collar tie. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh, oh he takes it for a ride. What a fantastic takedown. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Posture.
measuring up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponents will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round might be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you stand up out of your seat. You understand that you are one level of fighting in the entire world in the U.S. Punch over the top. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. All right, now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official the decision. That's called a stop to this contest at 21 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO Assassin. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance and certainly their athlete delivery. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.